hello student in last lecture we were discussing about the respiratory system so today i am continue my lecture on respiratory system so in last lecture i have drawn the diagram and we i taught you the about the nostrils nasal cavity pharynx and larynx so in 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 this lecture i am explaining the next part trachea trachea is also known as vent pipe the larynx part this larynx region this larynx part is posteriorly opened into trachea this is trachea part so the posterior part of the larynx is opened into hollow tubular muscular structure this is called trachea or windpipe the outer wall of the trachea is covered by c shaped cartilaginous rings so it means the ventral side of the trachea is covered c shaped cartilaginous rings these cartilaginous rings provide mechanical support to trachea when the air cross from the trachea so it protect the constriction of the trachea it means these cartilaginous rings help to help the trachea yeah protect the trachea from constriction when the air across from one side to another side and the inner wall of the trachea is covered by stratified columnar ciliated epithelium these these epithelial cells have very small finger like projection these finger like projections move downward to upward direction then these finger like projection protect the entry of microorganism and dust particle inside of the trachea and this tracheal wall also secrete one mucilaginous substances which attach the dust particle and microorganism then they cannot enter inside of the lungs next bronchi the lower part of trachea the lower part of trachea this is trachea the lower part of the trachea is divided into two parts at the fifth, fifth thoracic vertebra at the fifth thoracic vertebra the trachea is divided into two branches these branches are called primary primary bronchi primary bronchi so the left side primary bronchi enter in the left lung and uh, right side primary bronchi enter in the right lungs this pri primary bronchi further divided into a small a small distributaries they they are known as secondary bronchi secondary bronchi then secondary bronchi further divided into tertiary bronchi then this tertiary bronchi further divided into bronchi bronchioles this is the dividation this is 
primary primary divided into secondary secondary tertiary tertiary into the bronchioles bronchioles enter inside of the alveoli we were discussing for we will discuss about the alveoli in next part okay next six part lungs you know very well lungs are the primary organ of breathing because the exchange of gases takes place inside of the lung there are two lungs present in our thoracic cavity two lungs present in our thoracic cavity this is uh, right and left this is right lung and this is left lung right lung is uh, greater in the size in comparison to left because left side heart is situated due to this reason the size of the left lung is smaller in comparison to right 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 lung is divided into three parts the anterior middle and posterior and uh, left lung is divided into two part anterior and posterior part the east lung east lung is covered by a layer this layer is called pleural membrane and this pleural membrane consists a space pleural space there is there one fluid is present this is called pleural fluid right this is anterior middle and posterior only one anterior and posterior part one fluid present inside of this pleural membrane this is uh, this fluid is called pleural fluid so this pleural fluid provide moisture to the lungs and help in the exchange of help in the exchange of gas exchange of gases inside of the alveoli each lung consists large number of very small chamber like structure this chamber like structure is known as alveoli so we can say alveoli is is a unit of lungs it means millions of alveoli very small chamber like a structure present inside of the lungs they are alveoli so alveoli is the site of exchange of gases CO2 or O2 it means alveoli is a region inside of the lungs where the exchange of gases take place clear students you keep in your mind alveoli lungs are made up from the very small chamber like structure these chamber like structure are called alveoli so alveoli like this type very small chambers and the wall of the alveoli is covered by a layer of minute blood capillary network this blood network blood uh, capillary network exchange the gases from the alveoli it means co2 comes from blood to alveoli and o2 comes from alveoli to blood clear so this is very important for your exam alveoli is the site of exchange of gases okay thank you